All right, it is Thursday, September 9th. That makes it my five month anniversary. We now are technically starting our sixth month of no Lance Yakums of Waukesha Custom Home Builders. And it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. Well, I guess it is a surprise. You'd think after five months, something would have happened. But nope, nothing's happened. Lance is still missing in action. Haven't heard from him. Haven't heard from his attorney. Absolutely nothing. And that's too bad. Now, a lot of you may or may not know this, but Lance, I believe, thinks of himself as a Christian in the traditional sense. You know, caring, loving, and all that. And 99% of the Christians I know are wonderful people. They're delightful, they're pleasant, they're friendly. They're just warm people. And then you have the Christians, and some might consider Lance to be this kind of Christian, who are Christians in name only. They don't practice what they peach, preach. They don't do unto others as you would have them do unto you. They're basically not nice people. And some might say Lance is one of those people. He talks the talk, but he does not walk the walk. So, five months. Remember, this house was supposed to be officially done on January 8th. Then Lance promised that it would be done at the end of March. He did that in a verbal contract. And then he disappeared in uh, April. April 9th, if memory serves me right. So we have May, June, July, August. Yeah, we're five months. We're five months into it. I don't think highly of anyone who gives their word and then breaks it, signs a contract and then breaks it. And I don't think anybody does. But apparently some Christians don't think it matters. Your word is not your bond. You do not do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It, they just play, pay lip service to the concept. Now, if it makes you feel better to say you're a solid Christian and then do everything that says you're not in actions and in words, your deeds speak otherwise, well, I don't think that makes you unique. But when you profess to be one thing and you are clearly another, that's sad. So we're going right along. Uh, we're starting the sixth month of No Lance Yakums. And if you want him as your builder, by all means, hire him as your builder. You may have a completely different experience than I have had. You never know. This may be a one-off. We have no idea. But given the story I told you about the six months in a day routine, which means that if you're a subcontractor and you fail to file a lien or an intent to file a lien, your lien is no longer valid, you can't file one, Given that Lance seems to have tried to pull that stunt with the HVAC guys, it makes you think this is not his first rodeo. I don't know. So we're done with five months. We're starting the sixth month. I haven't heard from Lance, not a peep. No progress has been made on the house other than it's had a forensic inspector show up, which like I've said before, was a blessing in disguise. I still are renting a room at a neighbor's next door, which is cool, much cheaper than an apartment. And since the weather is nice, I really don't spend that much time uh, anywhere but the house sort of hanging out. And that's it. I had almost forgotten until the end of the day that it has been five months since Lance disappeared. I guess I'm just getting used to it. And do I feel angry at Lance? Yeah, there are times I'm angry, but does it consume me? Not in the slightest. You know, I'm grateful that I am not Lance. I'm grateful that that's not my value system because it could be, it obviously could be that way. I could be a Lance. Heck, you could be a Lance, but you gotta honor your word. And Lance is not honoring his word. And it's too bad. It is just so sad. If he had just finished the house 
as the contract required, none of this silliness would have started. But he couldn't do that for whatever reason. You know, is it genetic? Is it upbringing? Your guess is as good as mine. I'm just throwing him out as possibilities. But someday we'll actually find out, possibly, why Lance chose to stop working on the contract. Now, one other good thing is uh, the people who locate power lines, etc., before you dig, showed up yesterday. And they've marked everything with their, I think it's orange paint this time. And you know, I think that means we're going to have some landscaping done in the next week or so. So I'm excited because the weather is great. It's about 70 degrees right now. You can see that they painted the lines here to mark out everything so that when the landscapers arrive, which I'm hopeful will be next week, they don't hit a line. And the weather, of course, is perfect. Like I said, it's 75 degrees. 75 degrees, great weather for a new plant to establish itself, for grass to grow. September is a great season for that. Fall planting require less water, less hassle. We'll get the seed to germinate. <coughs> the plants to uh, get some roots established. And then we'll rock and roll because it'll sit over the winter. And in the spring, when the rain comes and the ground starts to thaw, the grass will be happy as a clam. And suddenly start growing and filling in. So, beautiful day. Oh, gosh. I think fall is my favorite in the Midwest. Spring is my second favorite. Summer is my third favorite. And winter is... Really, I love winter as long as there's a lot of snow. Sometimes we don't get a lot of snow in this area, in the Milwaukee area. But when it snows heavy and hard, you get three or four or five or six or seven or eight inches of snow, and it is so quiet and it's so beautiful with the snow hanging on the trees. But we'll see what happens this year. So I love you all. Things march on, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.